It's October, and while I continued to watch and wait for the perfect smartphone for myself, I decided it might be a good idea to make a What's On My Smartphone video. I've got a few apps I absolutely adore, and I wanted to share them with you all. So here's what's on my smartphone. First thing to address is my choice of launcher. Now, there are many great third-party launchers out there, such as Launcher, Action Launcher, and Nova Launcher. However, these days I've been using the Pixel 2 Launcher alongside Launcher, as I really like the fresh look that Pixel 2 Launcher brings. I sometimes go back to Launcher for icon packs and custom setups. Once Launcher brings those sweet Pixel 2 features, I'll be using it as my main launcher. Now for the more traditional apps. Now, I won't be going over every single app I have installed. I'll just be going over the highlights. If you want a complete list of everything that's on my home screen, check the links in the description. First is Todoist, or some people pronounce it Todoist, but that just sounds wrong. I absolutely love using this app. I'm able to quickly add tasks that I need to do today, tomorrow, or in a month. It's super easy to schedule items. With the cross-platform support and material design, this app crushes any other competition, in my opinion. However, I don't put any school-related items in Todoist. I use Trello for that. Although typically aimed at team project management, I use it to keep track of assignments and homework that I need to get done for the week. It's super helpful to be able to drag and drop items from one day to the next. I highly recommend Todoist and Trello. Getting things done without distraction has become increasingly more difficult these days, thanks to how connected we are to the internet. And even if you turn on Do Not Disturb, it's easy to close the calculator app and then get sidetracked by Instagram. That's where 5217 comes in. It's an app built by Francisco Franco that is based on the findings by the Muse. In the Muse's study, they found that a 5217 work break cycle boosts productivity. This app is a 5217 timer that has some seriously good design, thanks to Liam Spradlin, and some really cool features such as Google Play Games integration. It also integrates with the system in that you can have 5217 automatically turn on Do Not Disturb when in the work cycle. That's super handy. Although this app won't stop you from opening Instagram or Twitter, it will remind you with a notification of how many minutes of work that you should be doing are remaining. Speaking of Twitter, I absolutely hate the official app. It's slow, buggy, and there's not a lot of features or customization. That's why I use an app called Flamingo by Sam Rustin. Flamingo is a third-party Twitter client that is incredibly beautiful, customizable, and easy to use. It's got an impressive array of themes for you to choose from, settings regarding how tweets behave, gesture support, and a really nice Compose UI. There are a few drawbacks to using any third-party Twitter client. First, you don't get Twitter moments. Second, it requires the official Twitter app for reliable and fast notifications. Third, and this might not apply to all third-party Twitter clients, is that you don't get the 280 character bump if you're in that testing group, which I am. I don't consider these three things to be deal breakers, however, and with having the official Twitter app installed, I can always switch back to check Twitter moments or tweet 280 characters. Getting caught up with the latest tech news for me involves using an RSS reader. Now, I use Feedly's service, but I really don't like their official Android app. It feels kind of backwards to me. That's why I've been using Palabre, which recently was updated for Android Oreo. It's full featured, allowing the user to customize it to their heart's content. I've also been trying out an app called Newsfold, but I've yet to make it my main RSS reader. Both apps are great, however, I'm just much more familiar with Palabre. Finally, there's this app called Played. It is a Dribbble client, allowing you to easily browse Dribbble content. It's absolutely beautiful, however, it hasn't seen an update for some time. Either way, I still enjoy the content that the Dribbble community puts out, so I'm a fan of this app. If you don't know, Dribbble is an online community for designers. Well that's all folks, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of these apps, take a look at the links in the description. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you like tech videos, hit the subscribe button. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.